Welcome to my fifth class on single random variables. So in this lecture video, we'll be discussing about the application exercise with some special distributions. Application exercise one. So in this application, we'll be learning binomial distribution and how to derive mean, variance and standard deviation for binomial distribution and how to express binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function. And also I am deriving mean, variance and standard deviation of the binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function. So before learning about binomial distribution, we have to know about Bernoulli trials. The first condition in Bernoulli trial is each trial having only two outcomes. One is success and one more is failure. The second condition is each trial must be independent always. The third condition is only finite number of repeated trials can be performed here. I mean, this binomial distribution is a finite distribution. So it is nothing bad. So this binomial distribution belongs to the discrete random variable cases. Now statement for binomial distribution. A random variable x is called binomial random variable with the parameters n comma p. So where this n stands for number of trials and it is a finite quantity and p is nothing but probability of success and its pmf i mean the probability mass function is given by p of x is equal to k this is in turn equal to n c k p power k q power n minus k so where the range of x k is given by 0 1 2 3 till n and p is nothing but probability of success with the range 0 less than or equal to p less than or equal to 1 and q is nothing but probability of failure that is p plus q is equal to 1. I mean to estimate the value of q will be using the value of p here and the combination nck can be expanded like n factorial by k factorial into n minus k factorial. Okay now we will see how to represent this binomial distribution in terms of cumulative distribution function. So the CDF of the random variable x is given by fx of x is equal to summation k from 0 to n nck p power k q power n minus k so where the range of k is given by n less than or equal to k less than or equal to n plus 1 now the graphical representation of pmf and cdf for binomial distribution so now to represent some graph i'm taking an example with n is equal to 6 and p is equal to 0 0.6 it is nothing but the number of trials are 0 0.6 here and the probability of success i'm taking 0 0.6 so i'll be incorporating this n value p value in the previous pmf equation and also in the cdf equation so after replacing and after simplifying with k is equal to some values we'll be getting the values for pmf as well as cdf so now i'll be plotting that particular points in the graph form like this so this is a pmf plot for the value n is equal to 6 and p is equal to 0.6 and this is a cdf plot for n is equal to 6 and p is equal to 0.6 So now we will learn how to derive mean, variance and standard deviation of the binomial distribution. So since I told like the binomial distribution is a discrete random variable, so I'll be representing the mean, variance and standard deviation in the case of discrete random variable only. So for this, I'm taking the binomial distribution formula. We have P of X is equal to K nck p power k q power n minus k for k is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on so now for the discrete random variable x the expectation formula is given by expectation of x is equal to summation x into p of x so now in the place of p of x i'll be replacing p of x is equal to nck p power k q power n minus k so since i'm using x is equal to k here so i'll be replacing x is equal to k here also like this so i got the equation like summation k from 0 to n k n c k p power k into q power n minus k so now uh, i'm replacing the value of n c k here this n c k is nothing but a combination that is n factorial by k factorial into n minus k factorial so i'll be getting the equation like summation k from 0 to n k n factorial by k factorial into n minus k factorial p power k q power n minus k so now our job is to eliminate this k term from the expression so to cancel this k term i'm expanding k factorial as k into k minus 1 factorial 
So now the equation leads to summation k from 0 to n, k n factorial by k into k minus 1 factorial, n minus k factorial, p power k, q power n minus k. So now I can cancel this k term. So now as, as so now the function having the in terms of k minus 1 factorial, the value of k start from now 1 to infinity because we don't have the value for minus 1 factorial. So for that purpose, I'll be starting the summation k start from 1 to n and I'll be representing all the terms in terms of minus 1. That is, I'm expanding n factorial as n into n minus 1 factorial, keeping k minus 1 factorial as it is. And same thing is also, I'm representing n minus k factorial as n minus 1 minus of k minus 1 factorial. And same thing for p power k also. I'm adding 1 and subtracting 1. I got p power k minus 1 plus 1. And same thing for n minus k also. It will be equal to k power, uh, q power n minus 1 minus k minus 1. So now, uh, from this expression, I can take one p term outside, one n term outside because this is free from the k variable. So I can take n into p outside here. So what will get now? So I'm taking n into p outside. I got the expression like summation k from 1 to n, n minus 1 factorial by k minus 1 factorial, n minus 1 minus of k minus 1 factorial, p power k minus 1, q power n minus 1 minus k minus 1. Now this is nothing but n minus 1 c k minus 1 we can write here. So n p into summation k from 1 to n, n minus 1 c k minus 1, p power k minus 1, q power n minus 1 minus of k minus 1. So this complete thing is nothing but p plus q whole power n minus 1. And since we have the formula p plus q is equal to 1, I can put p plus q is equal to 1 here. So I'll be getting expectation of x is equal to n p into 1 power n minus 1 and 1 power n minus 1 will be equal to 1 itself. So I got the expectation of x is equal to n p. Similarly, now I'll be finding expectation of x square because to find the variance of x, we need the value of expectation of x square. So now to find this expectation of x square, I'm going to simplify x square in a small way. So like how means I'm adding plus x and subtracting my plus x here. So I'll be getting this equation. Expectation of x square minus x plus x. And from this equation, I'm taking one x term common factor. I'll be getting expectation of x into x minus 1 plus x. So now, uh, by the properties of expectation, I can expand this uh, equation like expectation of x into x minus 1 plus expectation of x. So now, uh, I'm going to find only expectation of x into x minus 1 because already I know the value of expectation of x is np here. So I'm not going to find expectation of x. I'm finding only expectation of x into x minus 1. So now take the formula, expectation of x into x minus 1. The formula will be summation x into x minus 1 p of x. So now, I'm going to replace p of x and I'm, I'm using x is equal to k here. So I'll, I'll be representing all x terms in terms of k only. So summation k from 0 to n, k, k minus 1, n, c, k, p power k, q power n minus k. So now same thing again, I'm expanding n, c, k first. So I'll be getting summation k from 0 to n, k, k minus 1, expanding n, c, k as n factorial by k factorial into n minus k factorial, p power k, q power n minus k as it is. Now same thing again like a previous one, to eliminate this k into k minus 1, I am going to expand k factorial as k, k minus 1, k minus 2 factorial, so that I can eliminate k into k minus 1 from the ex expression. So now I got the expression like this, summation k from 0 to n, k, k minus 1, n factorial by k, k minus 1, k minus 2 factorial, n minus k factorial, p power k, q, q power n minus k. So now I can cancel this k into k minus 1 with this equation, this term. So now I got the expression like n factorial by k minus 2 factorial, n minus k factorial, p power k, q power n minus k. So since the expression having k minus 2 factorial, so now I start the summation from k from 2 to n. So k from 2 to n and I'll be representing all the terms in the expression in terms of n minus 2 only. So expanding n factorial as n into n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial keeping k minus 2 factorial as it is and representing n minus k factorial as n minus 2 minus of k minus 2 factorial. This is because of adding 2 subtracting 2 and same thing here also adding 2 subtracting 2 I got k power p power k minus 2 plus 2 and same thing here also q power n minus 2 k minus 2. So I can take uh, n into n minus 1 p square outside as a constant. So I got n into n minus 1 p square summation k from 2 to n, n minus 2 factorial, 
k minus 2 factorial n minus 2 minus of k minus 2 factorial p power k minus 2 q power n minus 2 minus k minus 2 so this is nothing but the combination again so it will be equal to n into n minus 1 p square summation k from 2 to n n c uh, sorry uh, n minus 2 c k minus 2 p power k minus 2 q power n minus 2 minus k minus 2 now this complete thing is nothing but again same p plus q whole power n minus 2 so i got the expression like n into n minus 1 p square p plus q whole power n minus 2 and p plus q is equal to 1 i am going to use here so since p plus q is equal to 1 i'll be getting 1 power n minus 2 into n n minus 1 p square so 1 power n minus 2 is always 1 so i got the expectation of x into x minus 1 is n square p square minus n p square so now i'll be replacing this expectation of x x minus 1 in expectation of x square equation here along with expectation of x value so i got n square p square minus n p square plus n p so i got the expectation of x square is equal to n square p square minus n p square plus n p so now i can easily find the value of variance so variance is equal to what sigma x square is equal to e of expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square so it will be equal to n square p square minus n p square plus n p minus n square p square so i can cancel n square p square so i got the remaining term is minus n p square plus n p so taking n p common factor i got n p into 1 minus p so this 1 minus p will be equal to q how means since p plus q is equal to 1 q will be equal to 1 minus p so i'm going to replace that 1 minus p value here so i got uh, variance is equal to n p q so now finding standard deviation so it is given by sigma x it is square root of variance so i'll be getting standard deviation is square root of npq so now derive binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function so in this derivation i'm going to represent binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function so since uh, this one is a bar discrete random variable case i am going to use the characteristic function in terms of discrete random variable only so to prove this one i am taking the expression of binomial distribution p of x is equal to k is equal to n c k p power k q power n minus k for k is equal to 0 1 2 3 n so now take the formula for characteristic function xi x of omega is equal to expectation e power j omega x summation i e power j omega x i p x of x i so in the place of p of p x of x i i'm going to replace the binomial distribution formula that is uh, n k p power k q power n minus k so same thing here also since i'm representing all the x terms in terms of k variable i'm converting the x term here also in terms of k only so now i'm going to combine e power j omega k with p power k so i got the expression like uh, summation n from k from 0 to n n c k p e power, e power j omega whole power k q power n minus k so now expanding this equation so this whole thing will be equal to p e power j plus q whole power n we can write it so this is the expression for binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function so now to check this expression is true or not i am going to replace omega is equal to zero like after replacing omega is equal to zero the value must be equal to one we have to get so now i will put omega is equal to zero here i will be getting p into e power zero plus q into o, uh, whole power n i got p plus q whole power n it is equal to one power n it is one so i got the xi x of zero is equal to one so hence expression for characteristic function is true in the binomial distribution case so now derive mean variance and standard deviation of the binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function this proof is very much important according to examination point of view so now we will derive the mean variance and standard deviation for the binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function so to prove this one take the expression of the binomial distribution in terms of characteristic function that is xi x of omega is equal to p e power j omega plus q power q whole power n so now to find the expectation of x i am going to use the same characteristic function formula only so that is expectation of x is equal to d by dj omega xi x of omega at omega is equal to zero so now i'll be replacing xi x of omega is equal to p e power j omega plus q whole power n so i got the expression like expectation of x is equal to d by d uh, j omega 
p into e power j omega plus q whole power n so now differentiating this expression with respect to j omega we got the expression like n into p e power j omega plus q power whole uh, q whole power n minus 1 and differentiating this p into e power j omega will be getting p into e power j omega only so now i'm going to replace omega is equal to 0 in this expression if i replace omega is equal to 0 i got the value like n into p, uh, n into p e power 0 plus q whole power n minus 1 into p e power 0 so i got n p into p plus q whole power n minus 1 so since p plus q is equal to 1 the p plus q whole power n minus 1 will become 1 so i got the expectation of n p is uh, x is equal to n p in this case so now we will find expectation of x square the formula for expectation of x square is d square by dj omega whole square xi x of omega at omega is equal to 0 it means that differentiating xi x of omega two times with respect to j omega so i got the expression like expectation of x square is equal to d square by dj omega whole square into p e power j omega plus q whole power n at omega is equal to 0 so now differentiating one time i got the expression like d by dj omega into n times of p e power j omega plus q whole power n minus 1 into p e power j omega at omega is equal to 0 now again differentiating this expression by using product rule first i am keeping uh, n into e power j omega plus q whole power n minus 1 as it is differentiating p into e power j omega will be getting same p into e power j omega only plus keeping p into e power j omega as it is differentiating n into p e power j omega plus q whole power n minus 1 will be equal to n n minus 1 p e power j omega plus q whole power n minus 2 and differentiating p e power j omega will be getting p e power j, j omega so it will become p e power j omega whole square at omega is equal to 0 so now if i replace omega is equal to 0 in this expression we'll be getting n into p e power 0 plus q whole power n minus 1 into p e power 0 plus n n minus 1 p e power 0 plus q whole power n minus 2 p e power 0 whole square so it will be equal to n into p plus q whole power n minus 1 p plus n into n minus 1 p plus q whole power n minus 2 into p square so on further simplifying this i'll be getting expectation of x square is equal to n p plus n square p square minus n p square so now finally we'll be finding variance so this uh, step will be common for the previous proof and this proof also that is e of x square minus e of x whole square it will be equal to n square p square minus n p square plus n p minus n square p square so i can cancel this n square p square here and from this expression i am taking uh, np common factor i got np into 1 minus p so i got the variance is equal to npq and standard deviation will be square root of the variance so it will be equal to square root of npq okay in the next lecture video we will be discussing uh, the one more application called poison distribution and and we'll be finding same mean variance standard deviation for the poison distribution thank you